And look at who just stepped into the program, one of the VIPs for St. Louis Park Hockey. Okay, We're going to be joined right. momentarily by Danny Bissonette, and then after the end of two, Steve Hahn, the creator of Hockey in the Park, Actually, will join I'll us. Actually, I'll step aside. All right, so 20 seconds remaining on the four-on-four four here. Carl back at the point. Steven Carl with a wrist shot. Buck is chipped high off the far wall. And we've... We're like musical chairs in the broadcast booth. Johnny Passold leaves, <laughs> and that guys don't feel bad. One Johnny Passold equals two of you. That, we, that, I mean, that's about I, it. I got that's where I go. <laughs> Joined by Danny Bissonette, one of the uh, head hockey coach of the Bantam B ones here at St. Louis Park, as well as the assistant baseball coach, and Steve Hahn, uh, former St. Louis Park baseball and hockey player who's also the host and creator of the Hockey in the Park TV show that's now airing on Channel 14, 15, and 16. Uh, guys, are, Good to see oh, it. got a partial breakaway here for the Wildcats. Oh, and it holds it down low, and that was number three for them, Kimlinger. Guys, just go ahead and talk a little bit about, I'm going to float over to Danny go first. Go ahead, let Danny go, yeah. Danny, how, talk a little bit about the youth program, and you're coaching with Brian Rose, I think, and, and tell me a little bit about how you got back involved after you were a member of the 2003 state tournament team. Then you went to Gustavus, I understand, to play baseball, correct, and did some hockey down there. We're gonna have to hold on, Danny. We've got some technical difficulties with you. All right, Danny, can you talk into that? Oh, puck. as we resume play here. Tell you what, we're gonna turn it over to Honor right now because we don't have Mike three up. Okay. Danny, I, I don't mean to cut you off that way. Unless you want to just switch, I'll just give him my headset. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that in the back. Well, let's flip it over to Honor for now. Honor, talk a little bit about your hockey in the park show. Uh, um, your idea for it and some of the episodes you've had so far. Oh, puck is shot in again. Rebound. Go ahead, Hunter. It's been uh, it's been great so far, Johnny. I uh, what uh, what what's what's happened is um, you know my background's in acting, and uh, what happened is I when I came back from LA about five six years ago, I had all these tapes, and I wanted to put them all together on one tape. So when I go to auditions, I could have one tape. Right. To bring to you know, the, uh, there you take a look at Steve Hahn. Oh, okay. So I wanted to have everything on one disc, you know, and I had all these tapes from all these TV things I did and all these uh, miscellaneous uh, soap operas and that kind of stuff. So I couldn't find anybody to, uh, I couldn't find anybody to put all these tapes together. You know, I went to Blockbuster, I went to Video right, Transfer, right. I went to all these places and uh, nobody would do it for me. And then somebody suggested go to the city of St. Louis Park. Sure, sure, because you grew up in the park. And well, they just said do it. That they, they might do that for you. Right. So I called them up and I said, hey, I have all these tapes of all the stuff I've been in. How do I get it to one tape? Right. And uh, I talked to actually John McHugh, and he says, well, are you a resident of St. Louis Park? Right. I said, yeah. He said, bring them on in. We'll do it for you for you know a couple bucks. Oh, that John McHugh, he's the Channel 15 director yep, Channel for 15 Park director. TV? Okay. So as the Orioles kill off the penalty with 3.10 remaining in the period. Go ahead, Steve. So as I went in and uh, I walk in and there's all this audio video equipment, right? Yeah. I mean, cameras and camcorders and DVDs. And if you want to talk over me, go ahead. If you need to. You go ahead. Okay. We can so, walk um, the play do the talking. So uh, all this equipment's in there. I said, you know, what is all this stuff? I just came back from L.A. and I... I'm shocked to see this all in St. Louis Park. Right. And uh, he said, well, nice. the deal is anybody that lives in St. Louis Park, you can come up with an idea, pitch it to us. Yeah. And if we like the idea, you know, we'll air it. You'll air it. So community access. Community at access. Finest. Right. And I said, really? Wow. I said, really? Wow. Okay. So you, this wasn't something that you, like. I never planned it. Yeah. So what, what happened is, this, this is about three years ago, though, John. Yeah. So what happened is. At the time, I was dating a girl who was real involved in animal adoption and pet adoption and oh, rescues okay. and stuff. So I called her up. I said, hey, you know, St. Louis Park does this thing, and maybe I can do something on pets and animals. And uh, she said, sure, any publicity we can get would be great. So within one day, I literally wrote a show called Adopt a Pet, where I went out to different shelters, okay, animal shelters and things like that, and put different pets on tape. And the, pets would get adopted out. I called okay. them Adopt a Pet. There's still some episodes on YouTube yeah. if anybody wants to watch them. Right. So what happened is that was very successful. I did that and I had fun with it. It kind of faded away. Then I did a show for the city called Out and About where I went to different restaurants and bars in St. Louis Park. 
and you know, I went to the West End and talked about their menus and stuff, and that was very successful. That kind of faded away. 2.15 remaining in period two. Go ahead. And then, uh, so the city was kind of always talking with me and kind of after me and saying, hey, when do you want to do another show? You know, your last two were fairly successful and everybody liked them off the Oh, play. there's some serious pipage by Alec Bear that time, the nice, eighth grader. Nice shot. Oh, and he does a nice takeout. Go ahead. Nice shot. Yeah. Um, He's been featured on your show, yep, Alec Bear. Alex Bear's been on my show. Yeah. Nice, great kids. Great yeah. kids. So to make a long story short, so I had these two shows before um, Adopt a Pet and uh, uh, Out and About in San Luis Park. They were successful. And so John and the city have been after me for a while to do another show, and I haven't, I couldn't think of anything I wanted to do. Right, right. And then when I came to the alumni game this year. Yeah, talk a little bit about that. You you came to yeah, the alumni game December it, it 22nd. Was, You'd it was, heard about the Facebook yep, group for alumni, and you signed up for that. The Facebook group, and why well, I came to the last 12 years I've played, years so I knew play. about it. And played I a lot came, of men's league. A lot of men's league, yep. So I came to the game, and um, basically everybody said, you know, Honor, we've know you, you know, you know you've done some acting, and You've done some stuff before. Why don't you do a show on San Luis Park hockey? And I thought, what a great idea. I love San Luis Park. I love hockey. Let's combine my two loves. Right. And you know a lot of the guys. From and I love the guys already. And, and you know a lot of these games have been broadcast. And so, that's a good the, so I went home that night after the alumni game, and I, I took a big sheet of paper. And I thought, OK, if I do get this going, who do I want on? And I just made a, like a dream list of uh, of people that I wanted on the show. Nice save. Oh, good save on that redirect that time. Only 30 seconds remain, and that was uh, Thompson and Gillespie who hooked up. Really nice save. Go ahead. So you. Um, so so anyway, a, yeah. Your, so so what happened is. Uh, oh, nice, Josh Passo. Nice cuts. move though. Oh, boy, I thought he was almost taken down, but no call with 15 seconds remaining. Nice move by Josh. That golf ball trick he showed me is working. Yeah, he was. <laughs> you had Josh on one episode. Last 10 seconds of the period. Let's just cover. Yeah, let's just quick. finish it up. Yeah. Here's Gigi down low for the Orioles with four seconds. Back to Bear. Will Shoot he have it. time to get the shot off? He will not. So only one goal in that period as the Chicago Lakes Wildcats uh, with a big shot on goal advantage in period two. They are able to score one goal on the Orioles, and that'll make it 2-1. So you put your dream list together. So, I, put, so I, I went home that night. I put my. I thought, okay, if I really get this show going, who do I want on? I thought, okay, well, obviously Sean Podine, um, Chuck Fannenstein, my old coach. Who we, by the way, who was on yeah, earlier today? I just saw him. I yeah. just talked to him. <laughs> um, then I started thinking, okay, what about Jeff Passel? Yeah. What about John Passel? What about? Um, then I started thinking, what about Scotty Olson? I know Scotty. The founder of Rollerblades. Rollerblades. Yeah. In and fact, you interviewed him today, I interviewed right? him today, and what right. a what a great and what a great show that's going to be because. We were out there with my cameraman, and John came out, and um, you should see his place. Just crazy. It's like it's like Neverland. Is it like really? Michael Jackson's Neverland. Without without the, the animals, without, maybe. Or? No, he's got the. He's got, he's the, got animals the roosters too. Okay. and the goats and the hens and the and wow. the you know the, the the tram that you drive. You know you yeah, ride around. He's an tram. inventor. If people and don't swans. know, swans. Right. He's a total total inventor. So it was just. I mean, it was like it was fun. You know, it, right. was, it was a blast. My cameraman had a blast and. And Johnny passed. Johnny had a blast, and we brought him a jersey. And anyway, to make a long story short, so I had all these this list of guys, and I'm like, okay, if I do this, this is my dream list. And uh, and you're, we should explain to everybody, just like I'm a volunteer. This was Steve's right. own idea, and he's my volunteering idea, yeah. this time, and, yep. and getting and city support, and that's a. Uh, actually, you know. actually, I'm losing money because by the time I pay an editor and a cameraman, my gas. Right today, and you, yeah. Time and, so, but it, you know, but like today, I was sitting there and I interviewed Jeff Passel on Channel Nine also today. Now, will those be two separate? I'm gonna shows? do two separate shows. One yeah, on yeah. Jeff and, and, and just kind of on the history of the program yeah. and integrate. They talked about their day's plan and you know. But, but I should mention, you've also interviewed eight players in your interviews the last two weeks. You, you interviewed captains Tyler Broderson and Nicky yep. Tangitan. Yep. And, and that'll be on the show. And then That's you interviewed up. our JV yeah, coach JV Ryan Toitis with then, some of his players. And then Josh. And then Josh, Alec, yep. and Alec, Jake yep. Bear. So. Please understand that that's been the focus. That's been had, the focus, yeah. But you've had Steve Rosine on, too. Steve Rosine on. Current well, I thought, you know, I thought, what I thought was if we did stood the players all the time, it'd be kind of, you know, kind yeah. of boring. And, you know, how much how much, how much, much of an update can you get? So I kind of wanted right. to expand it. But to make a long story short, it's been, I've been getting so many positive emails and Facebooks, people saying, great job. I mean, literally, you know, 30, 40, 50 a day. <laughs> so people are out there, you know, keep keep the email, you know, keep the emails, Facebook's coming. I like 
people give me good ideas too, you know. Well, and you can, and I want to add this specifically. I know one of my big things too, and, and I really wanted to thank you for getting really involved and in getting Donnie Williams and Megan Barrett right. and the girls show is airing this week to promote the girls right. program. I wanted as to get well. the girls on her, yeah. And you brought in Linnea Donahue to yep. talk about bringing the parkettes back yep. Yep. and how that can help add environment at sure. the game. So. Sure. Um, yeah, it's just been, like I say, so far it's just, it's been great. I mean, I, I it's been, it, like, you know, sitting at, sitting at Channel 9 today with Jeff Passel at his desk, you know, where he does the news. It's just like, really? This is cool. You know, and then right. the weatherman guy came in, Ian Leonard. Oh, the, the He Englishman. came in and talked to us. Yeah, Ian Leonard or Ian Fleming or whatever his name is. Ian. I think Ian Fleming was the James Ian Bond Leonard, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. He came in and talked to us, and it was just, just to be so cool to be here. There you see Charlie Hills along Charlie. with another one of our St. Louis Park announcers, or Charlie, Jerry Hills, they're okay. one of our parents. So anyway, I so want anyway, Yeah, so look look for the, um, this week, ba basically the city has has promised me the 7 o'clock time slot okay. and the 11 o'clock during the day. So for people out there, 7 o'clock at night, channel 15, 11 o'clock during the day, channel 15. They promised me the prime time slots because they like my show so much and it's sure. such they'll, an original deal. And they'll rotate other uh, other Right, other so episodes. What they promised me that and what they're going to do is just... They're going to air each episode for three or four nights and then do a new one. Do a new one. And and we should mention that the Sean Podine episode, which was episode one, okay. the John Passel episode, episode two, Leslie mentioned sure. that they're trying to put those on channel 16. Yep. And if, you, if, you, if you're watching this tonight and your relatives don't have cable or they don't live in St. Louis Park, right. the most important thing, and I would like to ask Paul if he could put this graphic up right now. Yep. Go to parktv.com.org. Parktv.org. Yep. Park yep. Not only to watch, you, all these shows can be watched at live web streaming. Right. If you live in Calcutta, you India, in India, you go yeah. to parktv.org. You just got to make sure you do it. Those times. You got to do it at that time. So my show is on at 7 o'clock at night and then 11 o'clock during the day. So at that time, and then click on channel 15. And you can go to parktv.org. To also click on the schedules for the replay times too, right. if they change the shows or because right. Channel 14 picked up some of the broadcasts okay. recently, Great. and 16, sure. which rears our sporting events. I know Leslie Farrell, the Channel 16 director, mentioned they're going to air right. some of those. Like the Podine show sure. is of great interest for everybody sure. to watch. And you so know, please tell your friends and yeah. relatives that don't live in the park yep. to go you on the You can still computer. watch them. Yep. And I'm hoping eventually we can put some of your programs on your YouTube yep. site. I also, real quick, too, I just, yeah, go ahead. as of yesterday, I got a Facebook page. Okay. So just go to Facebook, everybody. Go to Facebook. Go to and Facebook. then punch in Hockey in the Park. Okay. Yeah. What and I'm going to do is put pictures on there and then episodes on there too. Hockey in the park, and hockey maybe we park. can maybe we can put St. Louis in the keywords there too. So if people, um, I think you just got to do hockey in the park. You do, but then if people search under St. Louis Park hockey, they would find it right away if they just. Oh, okay. Maybe you know I what I mean. Well, maybe yeah. you could add that as the keyword. Okay, I so, never thought of that. Yeah, I'm yeah. not that technical. But no, but it's a good point. Yeah, but so like I say, real quick, I'll, I know, oh. I know you got to interview um, the other guy, but uh, yeah, sure. the show's been going good. Everybody's been. Here's one of the here's one here's of the, one of my star guests. Here's one of the star guests from hockey. Here's in the one park. of my star guests right the, there. This is the better half <laughs> of the St. Louis Park former head coach Tim Donahue, Linnea Donahue. <laughs> you were on for one episode, and uh, I'm just going to hand this to you. Why don't you talk a little bit about the Parkettes and a little bit about the TV okay. show? And Steve mentioned that the hockey in the park shows are going to be on YouTube. Your YouTube. husband Tim Donahue was interviewed last week. Yep, Tim's that, show's coming up. That Tim had to cut off Steve at 20 minutes because they didn't want to go any more than that. <laughs> you don't want to talk exactly. To him 20 he, Tim doesn't have 20 minutes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but go ahead. Here's Linnea to talk a little bit about the park. Okay. Well, hi, hockey fans. I know you need the chick point of view, right? Yeah, we need to. We need some. Uh, we need to beautify the, the set here a little bit. <laughs> Great. Well, um, first of all, good job on my show. Hey, thanks. Did, did you like it? I did. We should be like a morning talk show with. Yeah, we could stuff. do. Yeah, no, we I'm could do that. Regis and Kathy Lee. <laughs> and pretend that we're mad at each other. I'm just teasing. No, but you did a great job. You know, oh, you know what? I'm. I, I was going to tell this to John too. What, what I've found in doing. I did. I did Jeff. I did Jeff Passel today at oh, Channel sure. Nine. Right. Unbelievable time. Yeah. I mean, just he's being on the guy. set and yeah, absolutely. And he's a good park interview guy. park guy. Absolutely. And then I did, and then right from there, I went out and did Scotty Olson. Oh yeah. The rollerblade guy. Yeah, great. So I had a busy day, but everybody's been just so willing to come on and so nice, and, and everybody like you, everybody talks so well. <laughs> like I, you know, I've done this, I've done the acting, I've done, sure. you know, all that stuff, and I, and I'm thinking, well, everybody I interview is going to be. You know, subpar. scared and no, subpar gotcha. and afraid, but everybody's been great. Excellent. Yeah, nobody's right? stuttered. Nobody's uh, 
no, watch you know, now all star no. yeah so but it, no it's been really everybody's been great and it's been going good and i hope everybody checks it out on facebook hockey absolutely. in the park and absolutely well you had me on the show to talk about the park caps yep. and um my team isn't here today but um they're newly back after a 19 year absence and right. actually it's, the, been, it's been 19 it years ha for the dance line part so actually they're um probably unique in the entire state wow. i'm not aware of um a dance and cheer team where they do both okay. dance line and cheer. And if, if I'm wrong, forgive me. Um, but they, the Park Cats, there's a lot of history behind it. Sure. Um, they I, had a, I had a crush on every one of them. Did, back of in course, high right? Who doesn't? <laughs> they just didn't have a crush on me. <laughs> oh, stop it. But they um, originally were the Minneapolis Laker cheerleaders. Okay. Because they were one of the first dance lines in the state, being one of the I didn't first know that. suburbs. Absolutely. And then the year that the Lakers moved out to. Um, LA, the Vikings started up in Minnesota, and so they went from the Laker cheerleaders to the Viking cheerleaders, and they performed at halftime and cheered at all of the games until, gosh, the um, late 80s, I want to say. Right. And, and then the Vikings went to more of a mature look. Right. Right. <laughs> um, sure, yeah. And so the Parkettes um, actually stopped shortly after, like in the early 90s. And then the dance or the cheerleaders right. have been gone for about nine years. It's been a long time. Yeah, absolutely. And so right. um, in your show, I talked about how right. one of my captains shared her dream. So out there, make sure you, if you have a dream, just share it with anybody. Share talk, with anybody. talk, talk. Because and preferably with you, because you get stuff done. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I mean, I, I love doing it. And so um, they, we actually just got done with practice. And so they're getting oh, ready. Did. Yep. Okay. So they're getting ready. What do you guys practice is out of curiosity? Um, a lot of times in the high school. Right in the high school. Right. And so they're getting ready for a big um, halftime well, performance at New Basketball. If it makes you feel any better or feel better, I got more responses to your guys' show than anybody else. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, because Everyone's I, like, why are we talking about I did. Well, well yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I decided, well, I mean, you got to, yeah. like I was telling John earlier, I can't do just entirely all boys Absolutely. hockey. I mean, you gotta, right, right. You know, you got to do the Jeff Pastels and Scotty Olsen's. Absolutely. But, but I got more Facebook <laughs> posts and, and and comments about, your, you know, just all girls. Oh, thanks fantastic. for doing an all girls yeah. show. You know, thanks thanks nice for not you. forgetting the girls. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. and uh, it was enjoyable for me too because the girls yeah. were so enthusiastic. Yeah, you know? uh, they're such a great um, oh, yeah. group of, they were so into it. of ladies, both on the hockey team and on, of course, I'm a little partial, but right. one other thing I happen to bring, I don't know if you can Show see it. my rhinestone. Yeah, this yep. is, I create did rhinestones. You, did you do that I too? do. Okay. Um, and so I started it because I wanted to be able to make custom um, apparel for my parquet team. Okay. And um, we talked about on your show yep. the horrific injury right. to Jack Jablonski. Yep. And so immediately I wanted to be able to help out. And so I have an example. Um, Jack actually held up a different sparkle shirt um, on okay. Fox Sports News. Okay. Um, so this is a new one. Okay. Um, I have it in Rhinestones Believe in Miracles. And of course, I don't know if you can see the 13. Oh, cool. Okay, you okay. got the 13 in there. Yeah, so that's white with red rhinestones, and then I also have red with silver rhinestones. That's awesome. Now, the reason I show this is um, to let people aware of it because all of the profits go directly to right. Jack's family. Right. So I'm one of their, um, like I said on your show, kind of an official vendor. So, Indeed. so again, that took up. you about, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, absolutely. So um, <laughs> I need to start working out because I've been sitting on the couch so much that... Uh. Yeah, the yeah, but you're getting you're getting the, uh, you know, I need the to start, arm exercise. I need to like get on the treadmill. And yeah. Thank gosh, I well, have. Well, you know what? Take the a, dancing. <laughs> if you ever have time, take a trip out to Scotty Olson's. He's got yeah. every invention you can think about there. He's got the wow. Sky Tram. Nice. And then you put me on that, and a Sky Bike, and wow. uh, rope. So things. he's constantly inventing new oh, things. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's I I, I told him I said Scotty, you got the Neverland of Michael Jackson's Neverland wow. out here, but it's just all inventions. He's got his rollerblade inventions and his and his ropes and his sky bikes and Love roosters it. and hens and wow. So he can make us an omelet at the same time. Yeah, he could. Yeah. Yeah, he could you hear that? Name. I want an omelet when I come out. <laughs> so uh, hopefully everybody will watch for that show. It'll probably be on about two weeks. Okay. But, um, Excellent. Yeah. So. But yeah, thank you for yeah, all the work absolutely. you do for. So if you want, sorry, yeah, we're raising a lot. I know of money. I put a, I put a graphic up on my show. Perfect. Yeah, so you guys can con if you want shirts. They're at I'll have them at um, they're at all of the Benilde games. They're taking them to either away or the home games. So 
um, or just, you know, see me. I'm around all the time. Email me at parkheadscoach at gmail.com, okay. and I can always um, work with you to get you sure. um, products. Just out of curiosity, how many have you sold so far? I mean, oh, my gosh. I, you know what? I have delivered probably... Gosh, I've made more than 200 shirts so far. Okay. So they just they so can't you sold about stock. 200 then. Yeah, okay. at least at least that many. So in other words, as soon as you make them, yeah, you sell them. I can't make them fast wow. enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe you should invent some kind of. I don't I'm know. sure there's an official machine, but <laughs> some kind of machine. I'm not Target, you. right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So everybody, make sure you. Buy Linnea's T-shirts. It's a labor of love. Yeah, it is. And uh, help, help Jack's family. And He's got uh, a long road ahead. Hang in there, Jack. Hang in there, Jack. And uh, any any new any news on his staff? Well, he's moved to the Sister Kenny um, okay. Rehabilitation Center. He okay. moved there earlier this week. Okay. Um, and so he's settling in. And yeah, he's got a long, obviously long, a long, long road, road ahead. But you know right. what? He's a hockey player. He's gonna. And he's young. He's got the young, and he yeah. can get that going for him, right? Yeah. So our all of our thoughts are with you, Jack. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Make sure, uh, like I say, everybody, to uh, go to my Facebook. I have a new Facebook page, Hockey in the Park. Nice. Just uh, click on that. I have pictures and yeah. all, all my shows up when yeah, I put absolutely. them up. And yeah. And if you're a future parkhead out there. Future parkheads. Um, you can. Um, Look on Facebook for the Future Parkettes page. So um, new tryouts will be starting in late May for the new season, which will actually be for the fall for cheering and dancing at halftime for the football home games yep. as well as the girls and boys soccer. And but of course you, the Partacular Parade. But you got to maintain a C average. That's right. So hit the books now. That's right. Hopefully all your finals <laughs> went well, ladies. I'm right. proud of you. Okay. Well, thanks for <laughs> thanks coming for back on. Thanks for having me on. Go Jack. Go Park. Go Good Park. Luck. All right, we're going to turn it back over to Johnny.